the benefits of micro fulfillment. Joining us today to speak about that, Corey Aperian, CEO of Da Vinci Micro Fulfillment. Corey, it's great to see you once again. Welcome. Thank you, Russell. Corey, I think it's fair to say that well, while micro fulfillment is not brand new, for a lot of us, we just think when fulfillment comes up of some big gigantic center way out in the middle of nowhere. And so maybe we need to be kind of brought up to date on micro fulfillment. So let's define our terms. What are we talking about? Yeah, absolutely. Micro fulfillment is a miniaturized fulfillment center in a hyper local area. Miniaturized is a relative term. A quick commerce company may have a 5,000 square foot MFC. Amazon may have 150,000 square foot MFC. It's all about inventory and getting closer to the consumer for speed and precision of delivery. So when you say hyper local, what exactly does that mean? Hyper local is the radius that that MFC can service based on the category and the channel that is being catered to. So if an end consumer orders groceries and they want that delivered in two hours, having a micro fulfillment center hold that inventory and, and bring it to that customer through a carrier, that's hyper local. Could be UPS picking up and delivering in one day as well. Hyper local is also relative in my opinion. Can't all of this be done by traditional fulfillment centers? In, in the regions that it's servicing, yes. However, not nationwide to achieve what I consider a neural network that's designed to really be symbiotic with how the supply chain comes up and down in peaks and valleys. So a, a CFC is holding a lot of goods, a centralized fulfillment center, and you're, you're looking at more of a parcel three, two to three day coverage with a, with a CFC. Mm -hmm. Now, when we talk about micro fulfillment, some of us think about this is something that's being done within a store, or it might be something that is in a standalone entity somewhere in a downtown area. Uh, is either one of those scenarios correct? Yeah, both actually. Yeah, uh, many, many retailers, uh, grocery stores, Target, Macy's also, depending on any, any category really can benefit from an MFC. And their inventory is placed in the store, so it makes a lot of sense for them to utilize a component of that store, possibly have automation and robotics, which maximizes the throughput and capacity of those said footprints to have a, a, a differentiated skew count from what's on the floor for that online versus inline shopper. We're gonna kind of go through, I hope, a laundry list of the benefits of micro fulfillment. But one of the benefits I, I'd like to talk about is cost. It is, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, more expensive to operate the more traditional hub and spoke type of system. This is a, uh, a more cost effective way of doing fulfillment. Is that correct? I, I believe so. It depends on the components of the supply chain that you're looking at. When you look at fulfillment, the highest cost in that chain is the last mile cost. So getting inventory closer to the customer mm. is definitely a massive cost savings of efficiency and an offset of capacity off of your, your massive distribution and, and CFC businesses. Now, I believe in all of them working together, there's a need for all of those things in the industry. But when you look at urbanization, you look at high rising costs in the last mile, you look at consumer needs and wanting things fast. You also look at, at optionality and all the different styles and, and uh, flavors of product that from a merchandising perspective that a customer may want. You need to be very smart about how you place those inventories. And that's really the unlock of micro fulfillment is inventory control. So if you can understand that consumer buying habit and cater to them in those hyper local areas for those top sellers, that's gonna be a really good thing for on, on the PL. When you think of CVS as an example, having children's Tylenol in every urgent care, that that every, every mom and dad have that have that in their in their bag with their they bring their kids around. You know, an urgent care is essentially an MFC if you think about it. If you have the flu or you need to get a COVID booster, you go to urgent care. If you break your leg, you're going to the hospital. So it's a similar thing when you think about inventory management, your B, C, D items aren't necessarily in your MFC. Maybe your Bs are, your Cs and Ds aren't really sitting there though. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> now you mentioned earlier, uh, some of the retailers that uh, are utilizing uh, micro fulfillment. What other entities might be interested in that? We just talked, of course, you know, about urgent care uh, centers, but uh, who else in the supply chain might be interested in in micro fulfillment? I think MFCs cater to everybody. You can make an argument when you look at the different four quadrants of business that are out there, your low value, low weight, your high value, high weight, and the combination of low value and high, high value weights all benefit from MFCs. Some, some have a, a need for it. Some are the only opportunity at 
profitability really and safety of delivery. If you look at beverages as an example, shipping a 12 pack of aluminum cans carbonated from Florida to Seattle in the most extreme example has a low percentage of making it there safely without very costly packaging and it's gonna take time and, and a lot of weight to get there. So your freight's gonna be expensive. It's a very unsustainable, non-eco-friendly shipment and, it, and it's probably gonna show up damaged. So being closer to the customer solves a lot of those problems across all those different quadrants. Now you just mentioned um, uh, an environmental concern. So let's talk about sustainability. Clearly that is one of the benefits of having an MFC. So walk us through that. Just tell us in your estimation, how does that work? Is that something that folks are considering when, uh, when they're thinking about becoming involved in micro fulfillment? Yeah, I think it's definitely something that's very top of mind. Uh, you know, when you think of just uh, the amount of sorts that go through a, a large parcel sort center, when you think of a truck going from sort center to sort center and shipping that same box in that example from Florida to Seattle, how much carbon emissions that's giving off. You think about the packaging, the, the dunnage, the void fill, bubble, all those things that are being utilized from a lot of traditional fulfillment models, a lot of that can be shaved off and use more eco-friendly packaging or even what, what can be called a shipping in its own container packaging and going right from point to point deliveries from MFC to customer's home or direct to store even. Mm -hmm. All right, let me put my uh, potential customer hat on and I'm coming to you there at DaVinci Micro Fulfillment and I'm saying I'm interested in learning about this process uh, what are the things I need to consider? What are the questions you're going to ask me? And I pose this question to you because I'm sure uh, a number of our viewers may not be entirely f f uh, familiar with uh, DaVinci uh, Micro Fulfillment. So tell us about the focus of your company and what you are doing to enhance the operations of your customers and what you would do for me. Absolutely. Yeah, DaVinci Micro Fulfillment is a network of micro fulfillment centers across the US that solves a same day, one day, two day problem in a channel and category agnostic environment. So we help brands who operate on multi-channel fulfillment environments, whether it's Shopify, Amazon, Target, Walmart, Home Depot.com, who need to sell products online outside of their regular in-store assortment. So when you talk about a retailer having an MFC inside of the store, that's only good for the products that are inside that store or that retailer's distribution center. However, the consumer buying habit online likes the virtual shelf. They like the extended assortment. And the onus goes on to the brands who are typically DaVinci's partners who need to interoperate that strategy and have differentiated assortments online and able to reach their end consumers in the service levels required by those retailers and the end consumers themselves, which in, in many cases could be one to two days. In some cases, it could be the same day. It could be a half hour delivery. It could be a five hour delivery. So most brands, when they come to DaVinci, have multi-channel fulfillment needs. They're looking to lower their costs. They're looking to ha have uh, more streamlined operations and integrations, more control over their inventory, and optimize so things can be delivered in, in the way that they're not only landing safely, sustainably, but also in the most cost-effective and precise way. And that's exactly what we offer with our technology and our physical location network, is the ability for brands as a growth engine to, to be able to fulfill through that extended assortment. Interesting, interesting conversation. I wouldn't be at all surprised, Corey, if somebody viewing the video today does not reach out to you and say, I want to explore this just a bit more. Thank you for finding the time to speak with us about this. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me, Russell. This is Corey Apirian, DaVinci uh, Micro Fulfillment, speaking with us today about the benefits of micro fulfillment, perhaps in your enterprise. Thanks for watching.